So here we're gonna focus a little bit on quads. Start with a yoga block, either in its narrow or medium width, and take a wall sit. Dig your heels down, place your hands behind your head. Now as you sit in this imaginary chair, you might, I've got a bar behind me, but you might just have a wall behind you, or you can use a large inflated exercise ball. And then find your neutral spot. Do a little cat and a little cow. Do this as many times as you need to to feel and uh, establish your neutral spot where your sitting bones are pointing straight down and your crown of head is reaching straight up. And then roll into the balls of the feet and feel how that changes what's working in your legs. Keep hugging into the yoga block, breathing, checking the ankles to make sure they're not sickling, they're not twisting. Breathing deeply. And then setting the heels down and putting the weight in all four corners of each foot. Again, reestablishing cow and cat and neutral. And when you really start to feel the quads fatigue, this is a position in which they're uh, staying pretty isometrically engaged. You're not moving them up and down out of the squat. So you're breathing in this one position until you feel those quads start to fatigue a little bit. And then we'll change position. So that's a good one to start off with. Staying isometric. And now here, we're going to use this block against the wall on its longest setting. I'm tucking that in. And then positioning the block between the knee and the wall, pushing down through the heel. Yes, bring this right knee to about 90 degrees and stretch out into warrior two. As you push the knee into the wall, stretch out and push your left heel down warrior two. Take a moment to shimmy the ribs, reach towards something behind you, and then reach towards something in front of you. Reach back, reach forward. Notice as you reach back, if it gets harder, to keep that block. Reach back, keep the block. Reach forward. Reach back, keep the block. Push out. And reach forward. One more time. Reach back, keep pressing into that block, and then bring it to center. Now, square your hips like you're going into warrior one or a lunge. Open it back up, keep the block. Square your hips, and then open them up, keep the block. Do this three more times, and notice, again, we're isometrically engaging here, but your inner quad has to work differently when you're squaring versus when you're opening. And then slowly straighten this right leg. Keep pressing that right knee towards the wall. And take triangle, stretch out that hamstring. Breathing in your triangle. Still rotating the right knee out towards that right baby toe. Even as you turn your rib cage the other way. Two more steady breaths. Now bend that right knee again. Take the block with you. Straightening, we're gonna turn to the other side. Again, the block is the long way, and we trap it against the wall. Position the heel underneath the knee. Get your leg to about 90 degrees. Yeah, you can start with a little, little less of an angle up here if you need to. Especially if this is the tighter or weaker quad, this may be more challenging. Now keep pressing that knee into the block. Trap it against the wall. There we go. You're gonna reach back, but keep that block. Press into it with that knee. Reach forward. 
This movement can be really small. It doesn't have to be big and obvious like I'm making it. You're just reaching back and seeing if you can keep that energy and pressure of the block. ribcage head lining those up yes now keep this left knee pushing into the block we're going to take this back leg and rotate it in towards a high lunge yes and then rotate it back out rotate it in rotate it out now once you get used to what the right leg is doing pay more attention to that left leg Keep that left leg very steady as you rotate. Two more. Good. Now keep this action of the knee pressing out to the left as you straighten the left leg. We're heading towards triangle, but if this leg has trouble rotating, bend it a little more. Yes. And then find your triangle. Any variation you like. Left knee can be a little bent or a lot bent. Open up the chest. Breathe. Two more breaths. Still rotating that left thigh over to the left without rolling the ankle or twisting the ankle. When you're ready to come up, come all the way up. And then work your feet towards each other, heel toe, heel toe. Put the block underneath your heels. As you come up and your heels are on the block, keep your knees and your feet slightly apart. Spread out the toes, press down evenly through the balls of the feet, so that again, the ankles do not sickle and the knees do not come apart or together. So the ankles and the knees and the thighs all stay parallel as you sit low into a chair. We're not using the wall anymore. We're straightening up and then slow, 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 bending into a chair. That's it. Any amount could be more or less than I'm doing. Keep the knees apart the ankles untwisted as you lower. Feel the quads working and lengthening. If one quad is weaker than the other, put your knee, uh, your hand rather, outside that knee and push out a little bit. Slow down the lowering. Feel the quads working and then speed up the straightening. Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you lift. Take this a few more times. Your pace, slowly lowering. That's the eccentric movement of the quad. And quickly lifting. If the knees hurt at any point in this range of motion, make it smaller so you stay outside of your range of pain. Just staying in your pain-free range of movement. Now you may find that as you practice this week by week, month by month, you can go lower and lower. It's okay if your knees make noises. It's not okay if they hurt. <laughs> 
So don't do this one the first time you practice this routine or sequence, but over the months and weeks, you might eventually explore coming down a little lower. And yes, over the months and weeks, you may in fact want to do this one-legged. Now, if you see me here, I'm certainly not going to go as low as I did on two legs. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to a place where the knee feels good and the quads, the quads are shaking. <laughs> good, and don't start with this one. Make sure you warm up before you lead into something that is that challenging for the quads. <laughs> 